Hi, it's Maggie at Minnie the Minx UK on YouTube and The Captain. Today we're having a special shout out to my big brother, who whose birthday it is today, and to my daughter's boyfriend Ryan, who's 20 today. So happy birthday, Will, that's my brother, and happy birthday, Ryan, from The Captain. <laughs> anyway, today I want... What I want to show you is um, how to make some simple and quick cards and I've noticed uh, on YouTube um, you can do, some people are doing 10 quick cards in a short time or whatever. Um, so I've decided that these are the cards that I've based Mings on, this is my interpretation and um, they're quite simple, I've just used different papers. Um, Two bits of paper there, a middle part, and I've decorated mine with a, I've embellished it with a flower. So I'm just going to show you these these papers. Um, flowers are handmade. I've used buttons or brads, or you could use um, those diamantes. Um, really is up to yourself. Um, and I've showed the polka dot. Um, this is a different one as well with the roses. All the papers are double sided. And little flowers. I've used different buttons on each out of my pack. Um, so just to show you, they're actually quite nice little cards. Um, A6 cards on there. So basically all you're doing is you're taking a A4 piece of card and you're cutting it in half. I think it, it works out about... Um, when you go, then you're going to score it. So um, you're scoring it. You get score it down the middle. It's, I think it works out about five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter um, inches, and that's equivalent to fifteen centimeters by twenty one. Basically, your A four sheet of paper, cut it in half, fold it, eh, do a score line, and fold it over. Um, if you want, just crease it on the fold. If you crease it on the fold, that will give it a nice um, sharp edge. So you're going to do two of them. I'll do two of these just now because I've done paper sprawl. Um, so two pieces of paper. And basically all you're doing is picking out your desired paper. And my the ones that I've showed you, I've actually used um, papers from 12 by 12 paper craft and it's Victorian roses. It's actually quite thick double sided printed paper and it's 250 GM, GSM and it's acid free. Um, Victorian roses, I'm just going to quickly show you. Um, so you'll you'll see that you get two pages of each in it and it's double sided so you can do a contrast on there. Beautiful papers actually, really quite thick and heavy card. Um, is what it is and the good thing is that it only cost um there's polka dots pink polka dots i love that um it actually only cost three pounds out the works i don't know if you've got the works near you um but three pound for all that paper is absolutely fantastic and it's really as i said it's really thick double sided um just brilliant so we're just going to, so basically all you're doing is you pick out what paper you're using. Um, I've already cut mine, so obviously you're that size, your A6 card, you're doing, you might want to do just the full size paper. But for, for my tutorial, I've actually cut the top part um, is about four and a quarter, or maybe just slightly smaller, four and a quarter inches by one and a, one and a seventh um, quarter. And all I've done is I've... Took, took a sheet that size, the A6 size, I've put it, I've embossed it and then I've cut it into strips for the top part here. Basically, I hope you can see that, the emboss on it. Um, and I've just made 10 of them when I was doing the cards. I've, if you're doing it in bulk, it's easier to cut your paper, cut your 10 bits, your paper in half, so it'd be five sheets. Score it, crease it, use your bone folder to make a nice straight edge. Then cut out what size of paper that you want, the different types of paper, get it all ready and then it's quite easy to then just add it um, add it on. I've inked the edges, I've uh, actually I've distressed the edges and I've used worn lipstick. Um, you don't need to, You, I've just decided the papers I'm going to use, I've inked around the edges like that, I've inked 
around this. I'm going to use the polka dot green and on it, that's the contrast if you were going to have that, which is what mother card will be. And I've just inked around the edges. So basically what I've done is did the top bit and the bottom bit is roughly about four and a quarter by four and a fifth. So together they make the six card. And then I've did something in the middle for a border on it. It's going to actually go that way. And I've put score tape on the back just for quickness just now, but you could use wet glue, um, any size of double-sided roll, whatever. I've just used a thin double-sided roll. I think it's score tape that I've used. And on this bit that I'm going to attach in between the two, two joins, I've actually used fold pads. So if you've got squares, raised squares or something like that, um, that would make it stand out. So I'll just quickly do it. Quickly do it then I take off the the backing paper of the, the backing strip of the score tape and we'll just add it on. So just eyeball it and try and get it to be even on there and then the other part. So it's this is just straightforward, quick and easy, making quick cards. Um for friends, family, or thank yous. They could be birthday cards. They could be. You could. They could actually be anything. Just, just to say or something like that. Um. Oh, that's not very good. Put on. Hold on. I'll redo that. I'll need to actually tweak that off. I did that a little bit squint. Always typical when you're doing it on camera. Um. When you're doing it just normally, it doesn't seem to happen. So we'll just. Straighten this up, and if there's any excess on it, um, just trim it off. And there is a slight, a slight, maybe did my measurement slightly wrong there. But all you need to do is either use your paper trimmer or your scissors, and just take off any excess that's down there. So very easy to do. So I've got that in place, and then I'm going to add the middle strip. So that's the two bits together. And I'm just going to hide this line across there because um, it's a little bit noticeable. So I've used, as I said, I've used foam pads and I'm just going to add that on. And I'm going to do it like so. So you get something like this. So I'm not going to put my embellishment flower on there just now. I'm going to quickly do the second card so that I've got my glue gun heating up at the minute and uh, hopefully that'll be ready so again i'm just going to quickly do this and um, if you were doing as i say if you had 10 already pre prepped and all the papers cut out and um, you you could make these cards in no time so i'll just quickly get that lined up and i'm going to and i'm using this side that's the polka dot green that i did on there on that card and that's what's on the opposite side so I thought I would do a contrast there do one in the polka dot green and do one with looks like pink diamonds um, pink diamond type shapes on it and we'll just do that and that would be a contrast of two different cards so but I've kept the embossing at the top of each of the cards so again if there's any excess that's needing cut off just trim it up and I'm using a green a green strip off paper that this actually came out the same set it was all different types of stripes that I've used on these cards these here that's pink and a darker shade and um, there was green there's a lighter pink like a sort of salmon pink on that and it was paper it was paper similar similar to this but it was thicker it was thicker uh, lines on it and I just snipped off a, a long strip and I've cut it to the desired size so that was in that pack of um, Victorian roses so I'm just going to, uh, going to add on the middle strip just like that and have it like that so that's that one done got your embossed um, stuff on the top and I'm just going to now quickly glue now I was thinking I've showed these before um, making flowers You've either got a punch or I use my Cricut on these desired, my Cricut machine, um, on these um, flowers. Little small ones as well. Hope you can see that. Um, 
I've done little small ones. I've inked, inked these edges or distressed. It's entirely up to yourself. And basically all you're doing is attaching the flower. I'm, I've put a brad in the middle on this. I use buttons on the other ones. But it is entirely up to yourself. Um, you could add, you could actually add a bow. I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see that if it's not glued down. But you could make a bow and add it on. Or these type of ribbon bows. It's quite a big one, but I was going to try and show you and see if um, these ones. I'm actually going to do a tutorial on making these. They're very, very simple. Um, or this type. Same again. It's the three ribbon. I'm just going to try and hold it up here. Three ribbons together, attaching the bottoms and adding a button in the middle that could be quite nice on the card. So it's really entirely up to yourself. I was just giving you another idea. But I think I'm going to do the big flower on that one and I think I might do a little pink flower well distressed pink and blue either sides on this one so I'm just going to quickly glue these and um, glue these in place I like to use my hot glue gun um, you might want to use foam pads mini glue dots um, I just seem to think that the glue gun um, is quite strong and they seem to stay in place so I'm just going to do the second card just eyeballing it. You might want to put pencil marks in to keep it all even. Um, you get some of these wee um, long sort of wispy bits off the glue gun, but when they dry, they come off quite easily. They just hang down um, on there. So basically that's it. There's your card. I've did a big flower. I've inked in those edges, the handmade. Um, that, so that's another card done. Um, and this is the second one there. I've just used three small flowers. I've inked the edges and button, buttons in the middle. Um, oh, I can see those. That's it. You get those bits from the ink. Um, very simple, very pretty. And you could put happy birthday up the top, happy anniversary, have a nice day, or just leave it like that and then stamp a sentiment in the inside and put to and from, etc. So very simple. Remember when you're making your flowers, if you've got a punch or um, a, for punching out your flowers or you've got using a machine, if it's a cricket or what, whatever it is that you use, um, it could be a Sizzix type machine, um, great to punch out the flower and remember and use the foam pad when you're doing it. So if you had your flower in place and I use this embossing tool and you're just rolling it around and it can crisp the edges or as I showed before in a previous video you can take your flower and wheak the edges just twist just flick them out and make them um, curl or do it the opposite way and wheak them that way and they're actually really pretty very simple and very pretty to do so I hope you liked that tutorial and um, very quick music of today I'm actually wearing Riggett's t-shirt um, you'll probably not be able to see it um, I've got vi I've showed them before. I've got videos on them from the past um, when I saw them in Glasgow, and um, but that's not the music I was wanting to show you today. <laughs> I do like their music though. Um, what I wanted to show you was King Creosote from Scotland with Love, and I'm going to see him soon, and I'm so looking forward to it. Um, I think um, he's going to be brilliant. He's coming to Glasgow. Um, from Scotland with Love and the tunes on this I really love it's it's from not actually from my time it's um, before my time but it's when kids were when kids didn't use computers or didn't have computers I iPhones all the rest of it and it was just good fun and um, people and kids kids out in the street kicking footballs girls skipping playing pickies um, things like that just and the, the music's really good and adults dancing around and all that as well so if you get the chance um i won't if you get the chance check out king creosote king creosote I, I i pronounce it incorrectly from scotland with love and i'm sure you'll like it okay right thank you very much for watching bye